Hey YouTube, this is Charles from Grub Drive and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to keep up to date with my upcoming videos. So, you received the cowbell notification from Grubhub on your app for your first order. Now it's time to go pick it up. I'm going to cover what to do next here on Grub Driving. The cowbell on the Grubhub app is rang and you'll notice that there is an area to view the delivery. If you click on that, that'll bring up the location of the restaurant as well as the diner and the amount of the delivery. The bell may ring a couple of more times before it just disappears and considers the item or delivery missed. And it'll be marked as missed on your uh, on your app. If you do click and say accept, then it'll open up and say the time frame for you to time to pick up the ready uh, the order and deliver the order. Once you arrive at the restaurant, make sure you go into the Grubhub app and hit the notification that indicates you've arrived. Once you pick up the order, hit the notification saying pick up and also leaving. This indicates and lets the Grubhub know and the customer know that you picked up the order and you're on the way. This will also be the same once you reach the customer's residence or location. Hit the notification that says you have arrived. Once you receive the order, I recommend going directly to the restaurant. Uh, as I spoke before in one of my other videos, this comes in two parts. First part is, the quicker you get to the restaurant to pick up the order and deliver it, the quicker Grubhub will send you another order. Um, and the second part is, the, the faster or the or earlier you get to the restaurant, uh, you'll be able to uh, fix any issues that might be with an order. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I had an order today where a uh, particular item, a beverage, on the customer's order wasn't available anymore. At that time, I had a chance to call the customer and uh, find out what they wanted as a replacement. The entire time, I'm able to drop off the food at the, within the specific amount of time that Grubhub gives you to drop it off. In your settings in Grubhub, you'll notice that they have the option to uh, connect your navigation your preferred navigation on your phone to Grubhub and that'll be able to give you the directions obviously to the diner as well as the restaurant. Once you arrive to the restaurant keep in mind that there may be special instructions that come along with the order. Uh, for instance the customer may want extra straws or extra napkins and also keep in mind that the order may come with drinks. At this time you may want to check the order to make sure everything's good to go and it matches the uh, the items that you have in your app. Some restaurants may seal the order before you get there. So make sure you can double check with the restaurant and make sure you're carrying and taking with you the correct item for the correct customer. When you arrive to the customer's address, make sure you hit the notification button as for arrive. And when you deliver the food, hit the notification for deliver. Uh, I've done it once or twice where I delivered the food and forgot to hit the delivery button and Grubhub contacted me saying, where's the food, did you deliver it? So make sure you do that. If you have any issues during the delivery process, uh, for example, the, the customer may not be home or not answering the, the phone when you call, be sure to contact driver care. And they'll be able to uh, handle any situation you may have by either contacting the uh, customer themselves, sending an email, and sending a text. This is Charles from Grub Driving. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification to keep up to date with my upcoming videos. Until next time, happy driving.